All right, welcome everybody for another chapter of our campaign. It's been a while. So uh, let's get some ra reputation. No, so, you know, it's been that long that I don't even know the word anymore. Inspiration. Inspiration, everybody. Um, nobody was uh, having a question, so I had to come up with one for myself again. So let's see what... Um, and I asked uh, Azorea if I asked this question before. She said that she can't remember, so I'm going to ask it. Here we go. For inspiration, do you... No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how to word this one? Yes, okay, gotcha. Um, which NPC did your character... That your character meet in this campaign did your character enjoy the most or has the fondest memories of the year what what the deer isn't that not what he's called a deer Wumpadier. Wumpadier. yeah 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 of course i think it was raybar Wumpadier. raybar Wumpadier. yeah why because Azaria found him very, very funny and uh, an entertaining character. Well, he cannot help it that he has uh, these uh, gnomish roots. The charms. The, the Charm. gnomish charms, indeed, yes. The accent. Yeah. All right. It's all about the accent. <laughs> Don't make fun of Rompadier's accent. He cannot help you, Ja. I'm, I said it's entertaining, his character, <laughs> right, not yeah, his yeah. accent. <laughs> so that's inspiration for Azaria, well done. Hey. For me, it was the, the mother and the child from uh, Fandolin that died. Uh, from the okay. Alderly farm. Yes. Yeah. Because they welcomed Draco in with open arms instead did of... It, did it, did it, and Some unfortunately uh, the in. dragon burned down the house when you were not there. And they were in it. The battle that occurred between Helia's guards and the dragon uh, destroyed their, their house and they were inside. A uh, carp alder leaf and I think it's Alina or Elderlina, but uh, may they rest in peace. Yes. Inspiration. For Draco. That story. For Demons, it was uh, Rowena, of course. Yeah, he, he enjoyed Rowena the most. Yeah, we can hear, all I, hear I, that. I think you still do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rowena Rose. Draco remembers. Inspiration for Dimas. And last but not least, Sepion. Do I do it? Then I do it. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I forgot I pushed the space to talk. I'm sorry. Not a problem. Um, for me, it's Agorim the Blue. Oh, that's not handy to put it on the space bar. One second. <laughs> I have to change that. Um, no, for me, it's Agorim the Purple. Agorim the Purple? Agorim the Purple. Oh, right. Why is the... that? Because you, you, you felt a connection while you go through his poop shoot? Yeah. No, no, he had a really or, nice, or the uh, <laughs> yeah, he had a really nice connection of drawings, and uh, he liked how artistic he was. He he was he well, he's, he probably is still still is yes. You you now you know that he has the telescope. You might want to consider what you're doing because he can see it. He's the all-seeing wizard up top in the mountain. <laughs> very naked all of a sudden like very looked at no, <laughs> I'm not sure if he can get into the wave echo cave but who knows if he knows where to find it Sefion, that's an inspiration point for you everybody has an inspiration point and after was it a month I don't know but who feels the inspiration for a recap <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It's long. Like I, 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 I made the podcast today. Um, it was a lot of bullshit, but um, you all started the Wave Echo Cave, and in the Wave Echo Cave, you lost uh, 
the Owl of Dimas, which is named York. Thank you. He has a name, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, you followed him into what looked like a small labyrinth of tunnels, tunnels that are not so big and, and, and tall, uh, but still he was able to get lost in there. Um, there you thought of some different variety of creatures, uh, ogre jelly, gricks, uh, but very quickly you found a way out of this labyrinth and you stumbled upon a scene where there were some buck beers um, and there was a drow elf as well who tried to sneak up on you but not with a lot of success. A fight occurred and uh, when you killed it, it turned into a bluish doppelganger. Sorry. Second doppelganger you meet in this campaign. Um, Dimus changed himself into this doppelganger to try to lure out the creature or anyone who was in like a, a bigger area in the Wave Echo Cave. Um, a creature with a voice that sounded quite familiar to you all, but this creature tried to sneak up on you as well and got behind Azarea, but a battle occurred and unfortunately for Azarea this indeed was uh, the, the the drow elf that she fell in love with, the druid drow elf Jivrilnin. You fought this one and Sephion was the one who gave the last blow and made Jivrilnin unconscious and we ended the session where Sephion was tying up Jivrilnin in the small corridor in front of the like, let's let's call it like a main hall kind of thing and uh, that's where we left off anything that you think of that I forgot yes uh, Sephion thought of it can change into a fly and it can escape the ropes something like that uh, that that that's. Uh, I'm not sure if that was still in the session when he when he thought of no. that. that oh, was, uh, my that bad. Was, uh, Skip it. That yeah, it was on the borderland of uh, doing in the session out the session. So uh, yeah, yeah, not a problem. Um, so this is also where we're gonna pick up the story again. Dan and Dragons presents a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Adventures of the Sword Coast with Azarea Nerekurel, an elf cleric, Sephion, an Asimar paladin, Dimas the Trickster, a half elf warlock, Draco Amethyst, a dragonborn ranger, and myself, Dan, as the dungeon monster. Enjoy Chapter 36 Wave Echo Cave. Part 2. We are in the Wave Echo Cave. Still in the distance you hear like the thundering of a wave that goes uh, through. Uh, and the sound of vibrations of this wave goes throughout the whole cave. Makes it tremble. That's probably now how you know that it's called Wave Echo Cave. Not sure how, how you put one and one together. Last session... But that's where it got the name from. And we have a small hallway. Um, Azarea, Dimus the Trickster, Sephion and Draco, together with Drax and York, um, are standing there, looking down upon a drow elf. A drow elf with scars in his face, unconscious, short, white hair, and he is completely being tied up by Sephion. I give the floor of Wave Echo Cave once again to all of you. All right. And now what? We got this guy. What, what, what do we do now? Uh, I, I want to finally hear what this is all about. Should we not, like, make... Uh, I don't know. Something, does somebody have something sticky? Honey or something? Mm, no. You you hungry? No, but maybe if we rub honey over him and he chains into a fly, the fucking wings will stick. I guess. Oh, I have, right. I have ink. 
Right, just ink them up. I think I have ink as well. Yeah. So I'm dousing my... Uh, I'm looking for it. My ink bottle over him. Hopefully it sticks a bit or like when it turns into a fly, it's like covered in viscosity or whatever. Yeah, you throw... You have ink? I have ink. And you it's throw it uh, on top of him. Yeah, I'm pouring Pays the bottle over. Well, it's, it's, how large is the bottle? Just a bottle of ink? Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, so it's not completely well, covered? Out. Probably not, but... Uh, so it's more face or body where you do it? Um, the back. Well, there where the winds will come from. Wings will come from. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Yeah, he's, he's unconscious laying right there, so... He looks actually quite peaceful over there. Like, he's just asleep. Uh, I mean, does he need eyes to talk? He does not need uh, eyes to talk, no. And then I pull my fingers and I poke them in his eyes to make him like temporarily blind. It's like okay. <laughs> um, Does not make him like wake up or something. Uh, not really. He's, he is zero HP and not really gonna do anything. He's not gonna wake up from poking out his eyes. What is he doing? Like, guys, you say I'm, I'm gonna check in the room, see if I can find some clues of why he's here. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, good, good. What's going on in this cave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Need help? Maybe, as long as enough people are around him so that yeah. he. Stay here. Well, even if he change, he will be blind because he's really stick those fingers in his eyes. So, I mean. I'll help you look, uh, Davis. Right. So. Can we bring him to the room as well, by the way, instead of this hallway? Well, you, can okay. you can drag him, right, Savion? That, that's not a bad idea, all right? So we'll stay together. So you drag uh, Jivril Nin towards the area. Uh, Who's dragging him? I can't control I my character. I pull him... I grab him under his shoulders and I start pulling him. Do a strength check, Azraea. Natural 20. All right, yeah. Well, somewhere you got this magnificent power that you're not even dragging him. Or you're just carrying him up under your arm. Oh. And yeah, you grow in size and you big get big smaller big. as well at the same time. <laughs> like, there's something, something up with you today. So, yeah. All right, so what, what do we see? I'm looking around. Do a perception check. A perception check. Uh, 13... Minus one, twelve. Twelve. So, six cracked marble pillars line the walls of this hall, at the north end of which stands a nine-foot-tall statue of a dwarf seated on a throne and a mighty stone warhammer across his lap. Large emeralds gleam in the statue's eyes. The dust and debris covering the floor has been swept to one side, and a campsite of sorts now spreads in front of the statue. Half a dozen bed rolls and packs are neatly arranged around the rough built fire pit, and a wooden table stands on the west side of the room between two pillars. And with your perception check, you also notice that in the deep corners in the ceiling are four giant spiders keeping a close eye on you on what you're doing. Okay, shall we just uh, kill them? Did you hear that? Sh shall we just kill them? Kill yeah, what? I'm not seeing anything. Those oh, spiders, look at there. In the corner. Oh, if, if you just said spiders, you don't have to ask, kill them. Spiders, okay. Eld I'm Elders blessing the one closest to me. Which is the giant spider, probably. The giant spider, yes. All right, and that got uh, all the attention of the spiders. So we do roll for the first time this session for initiative, but you do have a surprise round on them, of course. Uh, so, Draco, you're up. Yes, I'm wa well... Let's see the ruler, 10 feet away. Who's the cunning? Cunning. It's cunning is... Yeah, I can hit it from here, so I'm gonna hit it with my pole arm. 
And it will be... Wow, am I going to throw like that? No, Two, not plus the same seven. Next time. Nine to hit! Nine to hit, that misses. Then I'm gonna try my extra attack. That's gonna hit. Because it's 20 to hit. I'm hoping. Yes, that's for, oh, for sure, for sure. Alright, my D10. Let's see. There you are. Seven plus four, eleven slashing damage, and I'm gonna infuse it with flames from little Drex. That's gonna be four flaming damage, so that is fifteen, 15 in total. Fifteen damage. Well done. And then I'm gonna poke it with poke the pokey end of the stick. It's been a while I heard and that. And that is a net twenty. Oh yeah. <laughs> net nice. critical full, hit. Sorry. Full four damage. Is that oh. that? No. Oh. And something else, and then then, right? Plus four, so eight. That's eight damage, all right. Good. Yeah, I wish I did it on the other one, but uh, hey. Well, the spider definitely looks hurt. It is uh, falling down the ceiling, straight next to Azurea. All right, well, Dex infused it. He's going to stay on my shoulder. And, and then it's Azurea's turn. Uh, I go to do, do primal savagery on the clever giant spider. That's uh, 14 plus 5 to hit, so 19 to hit. Um, the clever giant spider is up in the ceiling still. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get to it? Because your primal is scratching and stuff, it's touching. So how do you get to I it? I jump up. <laughs> like a prime, like a primal animal. How high can you jump? Uh, yeah, that's the, probably how uh, much I throw, I guess. No, because I'm have... not sure you can make it with that. Standing jumps is le less high than running jumps, I think. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, I'm but running five it. feet. I'm yeah, but that is the fur. That's how far you jump. How high you jump? That's a, that's a good question. Like. If you're running, if you're isn't running, that cunning, is, is like... that cunning not going to get an opportunity attack then? Sorry? Opportunity the attack. Cunning, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's best to, yeah. Azraya, you do what you want, but if you start running, then the cunning giant spider has an opportunity attack. Okay, then I miss the step up on the ceiling. I'm going to hold on to the ceiling with my claws. Do an athletics check to see how you can. Yeah, miss, Missy Step. No, yeah, Missy like, Step, and then hang on. See so that that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Missy Step. Then do strength. See if you can hold your strength in the ceiling that you're hanging there. It's twelve plus one. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. You're able to clutch on, and then next to the spider, you appear at Missy Step, and then you do the primal savagery with one hand. Then, but still, while you're holding on. <laughs> One plus a ten, so it's eleven damage. A eleven acid, acid, acid. But uh, to hit, don't you need to roll to hit? Oh, but I rolled before already nineteen to hit. But I thought that otherwise I can't roll again. Fine, that's eleven damage then for the clever giant spider. All right. Anything else you want to do while you're hanging on there? No, I just keep hanging here. <laughs> All right. I'm just looking at us, really like, what the hell's hell's this? Sephion. Uh, Dimas. Dimas the trickster. Sorry. Sorry. And Dimas was loading this Aldrich blast. His hand is full of darkness, and he shoots it to the giant spider. Yep. And the first one is twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five to hit. That hits. Mm. And that's going to do 9 plus 4 is 13 damage. Alright. And the second one is 16 to hit. Okay. And 7 damage. 7 damage. Good. Looking very badly hurt, that spider. It's uh, so much hurt that it drops from the... You know what? I need to do that for the other one as well. Uh, no, he makes it, and the cunning giant spider makes it as well. No. They land on their paws without any bludgeoning damage from the ceiling. You surprise the spiders. 
Even though they were watching you, but they didn't know that you started to attack them. Suspicious, but still. It's Sephion's turn. Okay, I'm gonna attack the... Nimble Giant Spider. Alright. Is uh, 5 plus 8, so uh, 13 to hit. Unfortunately, that misses. Uh, oh, natural 20 plus uh, 28, but that hits. Of course, and a critical hit, so full damage. Oh, wait, now I have to withhold one hand. So, uh, that is, uh, the full damage is 1d8 plus 5. Well, 1d8 at least, then. And 4. So, that is 13 plus 5, so that's 18 damage. 18 damage. Nice. Also very hurt. The spider um, drops from the ceiling. Uh, but no bludgeoning damage. Uh, no. That's, uh... Oh, splashing damage, I mean. So then, my second attack... Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was my second attack, the first one misses. Oh, that's Fine. true, yeah. Um, Question for Dimas. What is Yorick doing? What is Yorick doing? He is yes. actually flying uh, behind, obviously. Huh. Mm. No, I think he's just flying in the up in the hallway <coughs> where we were. He, he didn't come away with us. But if you, I can, if I can move him, then oh, sorry, sorry. No, because when we started the session, he was still down in the labyrinth where you uh, where you found him. Ooh, I forgot that. So yeah. that's uh, why I'm... Uh, you, you can move him now, so I'm just... Uh... Yeah, he's, for now, let's just say he's, he's been flying around here. That's uh, in the hallways. All right. All right. Good. Then we have Draco again. Well, the one dropped next to Azraea, I am going to hit again. Uh, that's a little bit better. That's 14 to hit. 14 to hit. That hits. Yes. That hits. All right. So, uh, six plus four, I think. Yep. 10 slashing damage. I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm not gonna infuse it. 10 slashing damage on a giant, cunning, cunning giant spider. And that kills him. Then I'm gonna switch to the one next to Azurea, and I'm looking at Azurea and I'm like, wow, how the hell is he hanging in there? But uh, I'm gonna stab the, the clever giant spider. Yes. With 10 plus 7, seven 17 to hit. That hits. And that one is 8 plus 4 is 12. Oh, what was it? Clever. How, how hurt does it look? Very badly hurt. But I'm still going to infuse it with flames. So All he's right. getting 12 slashing and 5 flame damage. Yeah, that kills him off. That definitely kills him off. Like would you, the, the spider just crawls on his back, legs up in the air. Makes I love that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. and, uh... Then I'm going to switch with my pokey end to the giant spider for the full t uh, 13 plus 7 is 20 to hit. And it's going to be 3 plus 4, 7 bludgeoning damage. And how many feet away can you do that with the... Uh, 10. Oh, no, the bludgeoning. Yeah, Ooh, that's the just enough. Just enough. The giant spider, right? Oh, I can only do that with 5 feet. So I... I'm going to step 1 f there, and now I can. Okie dokie. Be fair. Handy, ten, 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 is with, uh, ten is with the ten is with the sharp end. Uh, Five is with right. the bludgeon end. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. So, how much damage did you do? Uh, three plus four, seven, uh, bludgeoning to the giant spider. And also that kills him off. So what you just did in one turn is you uh, made your combo. Did a very yeah. good combo to kill three giant spiders. And I'm just Drex, looking at Diamond, Azuray and Sephion looking pretty cool. Pretty proud of myself. 
Like I can see yeah. it, uh, how you twist that thing and then turn it around yeah. and then poke it like that, standing in the middle. Yeah, yeah. and I'm holding the helmet behind my back and doing a like, like a little ninja move and I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. a ninja turtle. So <laughs> oh, yeah. But then uh, a purple dragon kind of ninja. Yeah, turtle. yeah. Uh, Azurea, of course, with the history that you have, you're amazingly impressed by Draco's moves right now. Obviously. But uh, there's still one giant spider left. Well, uh, I can't keep hanging in here. You're still hanging there, yes. I'm sure my the drum was. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I need to get get down. I assume. <coughs> yes, do an athletics I would love check. To I would love to crawl through the ceiling. Uh, that's it. To... That, yeah. Like a spider. Like a spider. You don't have that those capabilities, unfortunately. No, indeed, unfortunately. So I just jump off. Do an athletics check. Seventeen plus one. Yeah, wonderful. With a double flick, flex, multiple salto, you get down on the floor. Draco not with like uh, acknowledges how cool that was. Like nice. You're very cool right. all today. <laughs> <laughs> And then I do produce flame and throw it at the... Are you landing in front of Draco or behind him? Because there's now Dimus and Draco in front of you. I yell, duck. Sure, Dimus is ducking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ducking. <laughs> oh, and then I... All right, then I do throw, so. Which is a 13 to hit. That misses. Oh. You're, ah. You were too busy with your saltos and everything that you just completely hit the wall behind you. Should, should have thrown the ball when you're doing the flips. Bro. In the from me there. Thomas, when you're done ducking, your turn. All right. Eldritch blast. I'm Thomas now. I think so. Yeah. Dimus, the trickster. Are you tricking me? Are you tricking me in, in that you're not there? Oh, <laughs> I, w I was saying stuff and I used to push the talk as well. So hey, it again. happens to the best of us, <laughs> I can <could> say. <laughs> One more attempt. So Dimus, he is holding up both his hands and he's trying to do an Eldritch Blast shotgun now. So one from his right hand, one from his left hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And the left hand Aldrich Blast is doing 23 to hit, and okay. the right hand Aldrich Blast 20 to hit. Okay, so both hit. Both hit, and that's 14 plus 10 is 24 damage. Yes, so these four giant spiders were not really an issue for you all. Piece of cake. It oh, was no. a piece of cake, indeed. There you go. That went nice. Nice, nice one, guys. Very cool. Definitely your move. Well, uh, well, your your pointy fingers were lethal. So a throw again, room. And I'm, uh, I'm kicking this guy. What what with this? What, what are we doing with this bastard? Well, uh, are we done uh, investigating the room? Is there nothing more to see? We haven't really investigated anything yet. So it's how we first investigate the room, not that there's like, I don't know, like a powerful weapon or a switch. Yeah, go for it. I'm all, I'll keep my eye on this this guy. You you, you search. Yeah, well, that's not my... Uh, Damus, Damus uh, you're very good at searching. I'll, I'll investigate the, 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 the statue and the throne, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not too great. That's 10 plus 15. You do a 15 investigation check. Yes. On the statue. On the statue. So with your very keen eye, and your keen eye for detail, your keen eye for gold, and especially for anything that shines brightly, you see that the jewels are very clever fakes made of worthless glass. But nevertheless, a powerful spell protects them. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, 
that's all that it says for me that I can share with you right now. The gems are very clever fakes made of worthless glass. And uh, you are not even able to take them off because they are protected. Okay. Wordless. Okay. Word. No, that, that's not nice. But nothing, nothing that that shows why what, what uh, Zigil Jin Jin Nim was doing here. No. no. Do you have proficiency in religion? Um, no. I know. I just plus two. No, really. I can do a religion check. Do, do a religion check. Twelve. So, the statue depicts. Do wait, 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 wait. Can I? Can I what, the, the, what does the aura of Sefian do? Nothing. Okay. It's just the, the saving throw. Saving throw. Okay. Same. Thank you. Because I'm gonna. Can I see that? I'm seeing uh, Dimas is doing. Uh, he's looking at something, so I'm gonna cast uh, guidance on him. So you can roll an extra d4 for his check. Um, oh, plus one d4 you can roll as well. Guidance is normally before he rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Gonna be strict with that. But anyways, the uh, twelve was enough, so it's not really needed. The statue depicts Dumathoin, the dwarven god of mining. And after a closer look, and with the bit of religion check that you do, Dimus, you see and recognize the deity. Um, it's beautifully carved, and its emerald eyes are appearing extremely valuable. Valuable, uh, but also your clear smart eye sees that it's just made of glass and that they're not worth anything. Okay. Yeah, not much. So, guys, that's just a statue of the Dwarven God of Mining. Mm. Um, nothing interesting. No no weapons, no powers, no switches, no secret, secrets, as far as I can tell. Did, did we did we check what's on him? Anyone? Uh, not really. No, but I don't want to get ink on my hands. No. Like, can we also check the other guy? The because he must also be here. The the drow guy. Wait, the it... drow guy. The doppelganger. Yeah, so you go you go to the doppelganger. The doppelganger is uh, still back in the hallway. Yes, for sure. You can uh, you can check on him if you want. Okay. When we go check him, and after that, I can heal him with one HP. The the guy. Which guy? Be a bit more clear, please. The uh, drow guy. So after we done, there are two drow guys. Jeffrey Jeff uh, yeah. Thank you. Jeffrey Sorry. All right. right. Um, so uh, well, you search through the pockets of uh, the doppelganger, right? Yep. Which he doesn't have, unfortunately. What you need to oh. think is that a doppelganger is like the person from the Blue Man Group without the clothes. Oh. That's, ah, a, that's okay. a bit how you could see what a doppelganger is. He's completely naked, uh, and he's uh, uh, bluish all over, bald, big yellow eyes. Uh, but uh, when he changes into something, he also changes into the clothes and stuff. Uh, but if he changes back, then it's just like a naked, bluish, slimy figure that is okay. laying there. Like an alien kind be. of thing. No, he's uh, he doesn't have uh, a gender. Very 2024. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, let me investigate this Jivon in as well, if you, if you don't mind. Let's see what's... Uh, go ahead. I don't want to get my hands dirty. 27. 27 to search. All right. So you search and you search and um, uh, you do not really find anything on him uh, besides some scraps and pieces of paper in his pockets with some, well, drawings look like that he tried to draw stuff about the Wave Echo Cave, like the entrance that you came through, you recognize in it, you recognize a big, a bit uh, part of the labyrinth. Then you uh, see that they ventured actually um, a bit further through to the right. And a bit further, you see that it's like very unclear 
but it shows that there is an area where they have uh, marked a big exclamation mark that says uh, deadly fungus uh, keep clear oh that's good to know it is furthermore nothing Jeez, I expected some... Uh... You found anything, uh, Dennis? No, no, just this paper of the uh, uh, mapping of this dungeon. And it says, a bit further out, there's a room with deadly fungus, so that's something to be aware of. Um, but furthermore, nothing. And an iron key, sorry, how can I forget? You find an iron key in the pocket. Oh, and a key, a key. That's it was a, It was much deeper in the pocket, you had to search twice for that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that opens the door. Guessing. Sure. So, what do you want to do with it now? Are we ready? So, everybody get ready, then I heal him for one HP. You forget that there, that what I said, sorry to interrupt you all with the with the one HP and stuff. Uh, I also said that there is a table in this room. Oh, oh. I forgot that, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm here to help table? you out. Thank you. <laughs> so nice today. So. I mean, always, always nice. <laughs> Thanks. But uh, go ahead, do what you uh, do. What you want to do? Heal him or uh, have a look on the table? Whatever. I have a look at the table. You have a look at the table. Do an investigation check. Where the table is? Where do I look? But, uh... It's uh, rare. It's it's where you think that it is. To the left of the right drawing statue throne. Yeah, right exactly. There. Right in front of it is a table set up. Net 20. And with that net 20, you see that there is all kind of bags on the table. Bags that look like that holds some stuff in it. Of course, because that's what bags are for. And it looks like this is some treasure that they have found until now here in the Wave Echo Cave. Mm. And if you go through them, you will find... Mm. Here we go again with the fucking EP. Uh, it should say it on my... It should say it on my Dungeon Master thing, right? The EP. I have no if clue anybody is uh, quicker with for me with the currency, what is EP? Ah, yeah, oh, okay. It's like Electron Point? Yeah, uh, like that. Let, let's keep it with that, yes. So, here we go. It's uh, 190 Electron Points. Ooh, nice. 130 gold pieces anybody taking note no but i i can give me a set clockwork can you repeat yourself there uh 190 yeah. ep and 130 gold 130 g okay yeah i got that uh 15 pp 15 pps pp yeah pp uh, i completely forgot uh, 16 yeah. poo poo 16 poo poo. <laughs> now, now I'm lost in translation. <laughs> <laughs> what is pee pee? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, no, why? I... We, we sh really should keep going. Platinum with, pieces. With, yeah, thank pee -pee, you. With, platinum pieces. With two. Oh, yeah. pieces. It's EP. Once in yeah, two weeks, what? otherwise I really lose my, my DM uh, thing. So what's poo poo then? Uh, <laughs> that's very nasty, smelly stuff. Oh, oh okay. That, uh, they, use, yeah. they use that bag as a toilet. Uh, ah, oh, as well. Nice. Uh, and they put it put it next to there just just for the fun of it. You know how draw elves are. Oh ah, yeah. So and one uh, massively magical sword, right, or a halberd? Uh, well, nine small gemstones. Nine Ooh. small Ooh. gemstones. And, and which kind of which sword, like amethyst or what is it? And pearls? a dwarven ale mug made of hammered electrum. Wow. Dwarven ale mug. Electrum. Trim. Sounds fancy fancy. The gemstones are 10 gold beads each. I'm gonna note that as well. The mug and is 100 gold pieces each. The just, mug just is 100 gold? The mug, yes. Yes, sir. But there was only one, right? There was only one. Yeah, yeah, you greedy yeah, okay. bastard. No, you said, you know, because you said each, so I'm just thinking. Well, yeah, no, the gemstones. Oh, the gems. oh, oh okay. Yeah, no, I got you there. No sword. Unfortunately, it's definitely the big, our biggest treasure so far. Is it? I think, I think so. Is it, is, is oh, it 80 more than gold? I don't know, it's 130 gold. That's that's cool. Oh, nevertheless, yeah. guys, yes, I found quite some stuff here, and I magically do some mathematics of who gets how much, and I just 
throw it at everyone. <laughs> oh, oh right. Right. no calculator it is. <laughs> everybody, 190 minus is for is, uh, everybody gets 74. 0.5 EP 47.5 EP and 32.5 gold mm -hmm. and uh, you, you guys want the PP and the poo poo? Yep, yes, yeah, not yeah, the one, poo -poo, but the poo -poo. one PP is 10 GP. Oh, oh okay, 15. Good. Everybody gets 4 PP. And uh, 16 poo poo <laughs> is uh, 16. Poo -poo? What, what was the poo poo? <laughs> Give me a sec. 16. I'm honestly just throwing the shit bag at, at the it's guy. four. Also, four poo poo. <laughs> the poo poo is, is 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 not very good for you, but since you've all went down a, sh a poo poo hole as well in uh, Agarim's mountain, maybe you do enjoy it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a fan of the poo poo. I mean, that everybody has their own fetish, but that's not mine. Says Nobody knows. I'm poo -poo. just. I'm just saying. Put out your hands, and I just throw it. Yeah, and uh, and uh, the nine small gems. You can't divide it because it's like uh, undividable. So. Uh... And, and the mark. The mark. Uh, uh, I just put it away. The, the mark is uh, uh, hers. So I'll take two gems. I guess uh, somebody else takes two. I, if it's all were the same, I guess everybody just one takes, takes three. Who's taking three? I I keep Is three. Right? Yeah, okay, the, rest gets, the rest gets two, and then I take the mug and then one gemstone when I when we sell that, then we share the money for that. Then. Yeah. Mhm. Mm all right. All right. No, I have to edit. You hear coming uh, from uh, the hall east of you, flapping. 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 Look. And it comes uh, and it gets louder and louder. York, we're here! And louder. And before you know it, A couple that, of surges. That's not a York. Come flying into the area. Sturges. Oh god damn, those things. Oh. There's, there's some blood sucking things, right? Yeah. Yes, there's a lot of blood sucking things. So Well, just Algebra Blast? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll shoot an Elder's Bash at one of them. Uh, shoot away. And 18 to hit. That hits. 10 damage. Yeah, of course, you obliterate uh, that one. Ah, nice. So, I, I that guess was the I cautious one? It was very cautious. <laughs> yeah, not so, not so cautious one. Not cautious enough. Not Can very I, cautious, no. I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna just do uh blah uh well, first is gonna try to do its thing on Azarea. this? And uh Azarea does a five hit. No questions asked. Uh, no, it's the answer. Okay. <laughs> that was such a weird answer, but it's fine. <laughs> so it misses. So Draco, do uh, do whatever you please. I am opening it, my mouth. So, so wait, I'm sorry. Do, do I now lose uh, five hit points or not? No, he tried to oh. he tried to blood drain you, but I rolled five to hit. Oh, oh, I, okay, okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. I'm skipping the uh, uh, initiative here over the, uh, a bit, but uh, yeah. Creatures can appear at any any second in this game. Yes, you're the DM. That's why. But I'm opening my mouth and I'm doing my breath weapon attack. At this and hurts. After, after, no, at the, in the hallway. This in the hallway. All right. Like, yeah. Okay. Three wow. at once. Yeah. Yes. Cool. They have to do 
a uh, deck save. Deck save three times. Yes. Let's get three d20. And that is an eight, a 19, and a six. Uh, 19 makes it. So that's the one in the back. And the let's, let's see how much is it? It's two, okay. It's four plus seven, 11 force damage. And the one in the back gets half. Well, I'm not sure if you remember from they the last time, but they are all completely obliterated in midair. Of and your I'm, I'm looking cool again, off my shoulder to Azurea and Diamonds and Sephir, I'm like, hey, nodding my head. <laughs> then there's I one search him. again, tries to, oh yeah, what do you, what do you look at? Look at Draco and I wink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Dragons don't blush, but uh, he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of fear Even more purple. Yeah, get more purple than he is. <laughs> yeah. While uh, Draco is uh, being distracted by the wink of Azarea, the Sturge goes and tries to bite him with uh, uh, a 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits me. So he leeches on to you for... Uh, 1d4, so hold on tight. Oh, damn. Plus 3, so that's oh. 5... Hit. You lose five hit points. I'm almost dead. That's a joke. Alright. Can Drex react to that? Uh, yeah, do so. Wow, Drex has a net 20. So Alright. Rips so, it apart. I'm not even yep, gonna roll. There you go. Just... He just jumps on it and rips it apart, and uh, the Sturges are gone. But let this be a warning, that lingering around for a long time, anything can happen in this cave. It's right. full with creatures and enemies. So, can I, can I, can I uh, pick up the door of the, the, the table? Uh, what is it made of, first of all? It is made of very sturdy wood. Can I, and, and how, does the table look like it can block this entrance? Unfortunately not. Then I, I'm not well, it, it can it can block it sideways, but not uh, above it. Nah, that's fine. Then. All right, Sephion, go ahead, do your thing. Okay, Sephion, um, puts his hand on uh, the chest of the uh, humanoid, and he does the prayer and he heals him for one HP, one hit point. I'm closing that door behind him. Um, so you see that he uh, uh, is uh, starting to breathe more heavily, but his eyes, of course, are not opening because mm. they've been mm. pinched mm. out by a certain mm. someone. Um, and you just see that there is some agony and pain in his face, but he's not saying a word. Hello? Anybody home? And I'm just kicking him softly against the head, like dunk dunk. Hey, we know you're awake. Ah, okay, done. <sighs> Where am I? Your worst nightmare. Oh. I am in the worst nightmare. It uh -huh. is uh, dark. What did you do with my eyes? What did you do with my eyes? Seven put his pee pee in your face. What's a pee pee? What? <laughs> <laughs> Two platinum pieces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, why did you try to block our, our our path all the time? Like, why did you harass us all the time? Harass you? I don't know who you are. We are the four adventurers that you that we've seen before. <laughs> four adventurers? Is that how you call yourself? In, in huh? Thunder Tree, you remember Thunder Tree? I. In the Druid's house. I sure do. I sure do. Well, we're back. Remember Tilda? Do you remember Glotta? That's like all you're doing. All, all my doing? What are you getting at? And Helia? You're, you're not being nice. nice. What are you getting at? Uh, all my doing. Yes, it is all my doing. Yes, it is all my doing. Why? Uh. Because I would like to have the wave echo cave for myself. 
Why? I don't want you to come close again. You should not come here again. The Wave of Cave and all his treasures is for me. You're, you're doing all this shit just for treasure. And power. What power lies in it? Have you not heard of the Forge of Spells? The, 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 oh, but well, we've, we've seen that on the dragons. Stars. Like, we've been there and uh, there's nothing for you there anymore. You're... How did you get... How did you... I'm not gonna say anything anymore. That's for us no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this, tell me. We used the key we found on your pocket, of course. You've been sleeping here for like 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. So 24 hours. I have been asleep? Yes. I have been asleep yeah. for 24 hours. Well, unconscious. Unconscious. Almost yeah. dead. Almost right. dead. Do you want to see the torture spells? Uh... Don't think he can see. Someone poke out my eyes. Do you want to go there with us? I am suffering, <laughs> but I am keeping myself strong. Yeah, so strong. <laughs> <laughs> we're never really that strong. Can I look? I'm looking at Sephion and I'm just. You see that he's just slight, laughing at himself. Slightly gonna nod and, and just making sure he knows what I'm doing. I'm just like. Uh, you have no idea what you're up against. <laughs> well, it's just as soft as you, it's gonna be easy. You know, and I, and I take my finger and I, uh, uh, like, put it past my neck and I look at Draco like, you mean this? And I... And I, I keep nodding, like, and looking at the other guys and holding up my shoulders like, yeah, right? Because what else should we do? Okay, well, There's nothing much to do, yeah. Okay, yeah. in that case, I uh, take out you and I slit his n neck. That's a, that's a different way of putting it. No, <laughs> uh, like from the one ear down over the neck to right to the other ear. All right. We don't need if we resurrect him anyways. Then he doesn't need to. And be he petrified. bleeds out. <laughs> you want you want he a dies. souvenir from your bar friend, uh, Azaria? Uh. Like what? Yeah, you fancy them? I got, I got his eyes here. You, I want to see if he has an amulet of some sort or so. I would like to investigate his body. Oh, oh wow! Oh, I give you time. Have fun. Uh, yeah, it's all going to you. Still warm, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you, want, what do you want to do, Azaria? Because Daimos has already emptied the pocket. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to see if he has an amulet or so in his neck or something. Oh, no. Then not. Then I, then I <laughs> follow the rest. Well, that's gone. Shall we <coughs> open this door here? See what's up? Which door? I'm following you. This, this right here to the left, that's the door, right? Yes, there is another hallway from the throne room. The hallway that has been used to try to corner you. But, um, that door is locked. Oh, well, I have a key. Do you know? I'm going to use the key. And the door opens up. Uh -huh. Wow. Brilliant. <laughs> <That plot. laughs> yes, I'm going to enter it. Okay. And uh, let me get uh, my book, uh, what it uh, describes here for you. Uh, dusty drapiers adorn the walls of this room, which also contains a bed and brazier. A badly disheveled dwarf lies bound and unconscious on the cold stone floor. Oh, wow. A dwarf. Does it look uh, black or old or... He looks awfully familiar, like he could be the... Yeah, no. He looks like Obel. Obel? The Gundren? Is it Gundren? No. No, this one, like... is this one attacked, so it can't be him. Oh, Gundren's brother! Gundren had a brother, no? I don't know, I don't... I think Gundren had a brother, just saying, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's... Feeling morally... Inclined to to save this guy now. <laughs> Intro. 
Nundra. Well, okay. Can can, can someone? Uh, Give another berry. Like enough? jamming a berry in his mouth. I'm gonna. Okay. Just... This bowel. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I don't oh. think uh... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. I just walked in. I'm gonna slit his. If, if he's roped, I'm gonna um, slit. Pepio, can you do like a ceremony for him then, or whatever? No, yeah. he's okay. unconscious. What? what how oh. do you get to this bowled? Oh, uh, sometimes, I sometimes just listening to the DM helps out a tiny bit. Okay, Badly, no, this happened. Do jam oh, this very dwarf yeah. lies bound and unconscious on the cold stone floor. You know, do oh. a ritual, whatever you please, but it's not going to be the first dwarf you just kill out of for nothing. Uh, oh. uh, Berry in the mouth. Berry in the mouth. <laughs> Berry in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. You make him swallow, I think. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I'm just opening his mouth, put the berry in, and I'm like, like a puppet, I'm moving his jaws like he's <laughs> chewing. And I just, uh, I don't know how he's gonna swallow it, but oh, okay. can you make him swallow. Yeah, let's yeah. Uh, and the dwarf. You, you need to put your put your fingers. Yeah, on yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, it's okay. That's <laughs> right. We know what you just wanted to do with the, the other guy. It's okay. <laughs> Take your pee pee. No, no, no. no. The poo poo. No. Okay. Wake up, sir. Sir, wake up. So this dwarf with orange hair, orange beard, looking very firm, and of course looking very dwarfish. Slowly opens his eyes and looks around the room and looks surprised at every single one of you, <clears throat> including a purple dragon. And with he's like, an orange looking beard. So, uh, yeah. Who the fuck are you, lot? We are. Do we have a yeah. name for our team? We, who are you? You, you should have you'll save us. Save us. You don't. You don't know. You don't know who you are. I'm Draco. And Draco, Draco. Yes, and the and and the rest. I'm Mazaria. Yes, I already thought I smelled elf in here. I slap you in the face. Ah, Spits your face back. You did a little bit on that. I'm Diamonds. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Yeah, half elf. So yeah, I half dislike you. <laughs> I'm speaking in dwarfish towards him. Do not insult them anymore. <clears throat> So, thank you for saving me. Uh, very kind. Good. So you took care of the trial elves then. Welcome. Who are you? What's your name? Oh, of course. So you're not here to rescue me. Uh, I am Nundro Rockseeker of the Rockseeker family. You probably have heard of us, of course. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, I mean... You I'm, I'm nodding my head like not yes, but no this time. <laughs> well, no, like no, not yes, no. <clears throat> what what is this uh, nodding, knowing? Uh, anyways, I am Nundro Rockseeker, part of the family Rockseeker. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, Gundren Rockseeker is my fellow brother. Maybe yes, from brother, yes, Neverwinter. Yeah, 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 the brother, dead brother. Yeah. The dead brother? Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 You got to be shitting me. It's Gundren that. Oh. Yeah. 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 How come oh, Gundren? didn't know that. Uh, uh, blue guy did. Uh, How else? Uh, we've, sent, we've, sent, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've sent a copy of the letter of the riddle to him. And yeah, see if he could come and help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here this, do you mean this one? And I show him the letter. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, okay. indeed. That's the copy of the riddle. Did you figure it out? Because we were on the way to Thunder Three Ruins until we got captured. Yeah, it was a special uh, love. He gave it to us, and and yeah, he gave it literally to us. So uh, um, yeah, basically we lay claim to this mine. Yeah. So I am the only one left of the Brotherhood. Tarden, my other brother, he he's been killed by that damn fucking Drow Elf. Nurun, Nurun, what do you know about this cave? Have you have you been around? Can you tell us something? Uh, you asked the same question as the Drow Elf. He also was not able to find the Wave Echo Cave's fortune uh, and the Forge of Spells. It sounds to me that you four uh, are surrounded by dead, but maybe it's this bloody cave. This bloody well, cave smells of death. 
Oh, he attacked us first, so we had to defend ourselves. Of course. I'm, I'm happy you killed the Drow Elf. All three of them. Motherfuckers. Three? Three? Count, look at my fingers. We kill one, we kill two. Three? Three? Yes. One with the long hair. One with the, sh with the, with the scars and the other hair. And one with the spider stuff. Uh, the one with the scars is, is taken care of. Well, that's fantastic. What's the one with the spider stuff? That's the leader of them all. Where is it? Oh, so you are the adventurers, but you don't even look close enough, no, pay I, attention. Yes, we, we, we just saved your ass. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You well, saved your ass. You're dwarves. You're all so impolite. Ah, polite is, is something that dwarves. You want to have that. a beer or what? Oh, a beer. Yeah, not All right, else, you know, polite, so you can get out and get your beer. So be polite and show us where this thing is with the spider stuff. So you we know can what, kill Dragon? Them. I I respect you, but that's just because you have that amazing orange beard. Thank you. It's I like the your most beard precious well. thing I've ever seen on a dragon. I know it's pretty cool. I have to admit this. It is cool. awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. I so know. you have these drow elves, and it was the leader with the spider stuff. It had a star a stuff and it had a black spider on it. He was in the throne room next door with the other one. But he was always very hard to see. Please tell me that you got him as well. Mm, nope. Okay, I, I, spiders. I guess he's... Uh, we didn't see anyone. Uh, we checked, we investigated, we, we searched, but no, no, nothing was there. Well, I don't know what to say about that. Mm -hmm. At least I'm happy that you found me. They were not able to find the Forge of Spells, so it must be in here somewhere. They asked me how to get passed by some deadly fungus, but even I don't know. And they tortured me, and then they killed my brother because I, we couldn't give the answers. And they thought if we torture my brother, then the other brother would say, you know how those, these things, how these filthy pff, elves work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh... I it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's, 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 you know, dwarves and elves don't get along. Whisper a little Mama. bit. Oh, if Demon goes to other door and we are standing here, and there was another person in the room, then maybe he's still there? <clears throat> we didn't. How can he? Well, shadows, I don't know, invisibility. Hiding, so, hiding, maybe hiding. there's a hidden, maybe there's a hidden wall panel, or there's like a hidden door, or... Yeah, well, let's go. You, sir, stay here, we're gonna clear this shit out so you can get out safely. I don't, uh, please close the door, I don't trust this cave at all. Oh, we will, will, we will. After you, ma'am, before you slap him again. You head back into the throne room. All looks quiet. Some okay, deadly oh. spider corpses laying there. Jivril Nin with his black blood completely... Oh, like his head is just barely still attached to its body. Table. Throne. Can we investigate the walls? Of course. Yeah, I'll go touching around here. I'm gonna just jam my spear up in the corners, like, blindly, if I'm hitting anything that's pretty well hidden. So I'm gonna slash around in darkness. Good. And all that you're slashing around is massive stone. Sturdy stone. It doesn't appear that anything is here that can be moved around or that could be... But didn't we, did we see another door when we came over? Like, uh, when Sephion tried to go through the water and we saw a door on the right, but we made the decision yep. to go here? Oh yeah, there's there's many doors and corridors left unchecked here. Oh, who says it's here then? Maybe the the dude is up up there. We got a key now, so yeah, there's no no proof. No, no we can't do anything if he, yeah if he is here. I think he's somewhere else. In a Ezra. Oh no, you're not. A, no, never mind. I see you turn into. Animals, I'm almost forgetting you're not a druid. Never mind. I can try one little trick. Yo, guys, come here. Come come to meet. Come to the color corridor. 
just I'll, I'll uh, clear out the room if you if you want if you will and then I'm gonna cast the alarm spell uh, in this room it's going to it's a 20 foot cube so it's in the full width of the room and I'm going to do it like this and whenever a creature uh, moves in this area I'm getting an alarm and a signal perfectly fine It's a 10 minute cast, so drink, drink, have a drink. I'm doing the spell, and after that, we can move on. So, should he return, I'll know it. I'm sorry, you're talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. I'm okay. just talking sorry. to you. Again. Yeah. Never mind, and he closes the door again. Do you, uh, he's like, what, what do we want to do with the mine? What do you mean? I mean, we can lock this door. Well, he's in here and we locked the door. He doesn't have a key. He's still in there. He had a, he had a berry, so he's in there for 24 hours. He's well fed. Ah, okay, then he's safe. Yeah. Well, let uh, let's go to another door. Yep, yeah, I'm down for that. Nundro, uh, don't enter the hallway. There's an alarm spell on it. Don't don't enter the throne room. Ah, you got it, buddy. All right. Uh, lead the way. You uh, enter the area again with the crevice and the ravine where the water with the waterfall flows down into it. North, there's ropes attached to some pillars for you to be able to go down again. And there are also two hallways that continue on on the other side of the ravine. But you need to climb down and climb up again with these ropes. So we go oh, there. It's completely empty. Oh, do you want to go for the room? What you were talking about, uh, Draco? Like earlier at the stairs. That may, might be easier. We maybe end up down here, anyways. No. All right. Let's go. Hey, York. Ah, yeah, you were flying around here. Ah, yes, master. I uh, no. don't know why you asked me to do, but uh, didn't see anybody. Come with me, buddy. Yes. He goes down south the hall, the stairs, and there indeed is a door. And last time you were in front of this door, you heard deep voices on the other side, but in a goblinish language. Thanks for reminding us. You're welcome. Uh, are we all ready? Can I, like, kick in the door? and run in with my attack ready to attack the first thing I see. Yay! Let's all have a drink, because Sefion said let's kick in the door. <laughs> Drinking game. I'm wearing the Yay! t shirt <laughs> I'm wearing the t-shirt, so every every time something happens that is on the back of the shirt, then uh, I'm going to have a drink, but it's water, so... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll Hello. if you want. Ah, yeah. Uzo. <laughs> Is everybody ready then? Yeah, no, kick, kick, in, kick in the door. You're gonna I'm like, uh, you're go, you. oh, ah, with my axe above my head. Sephion, ready to... very well, sorry to interrupt you. Do a strength check to see how well you kick uh. in that door. Oh, that's Keep right, uh... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, 11. 11. Unfortunately, the door does not move an inch. But with your thumping on it, <laughs> you definitely hear that the voices on the other side of the room have now quieted down. Yeah, yeah, well, times, times. Transforming the guy again, and then. And, and... Let's try the key. The key, all right. Uh, go running as well. I'm trying the key. Uh, the key is not. There's no lock on the door. Oh. That could be open. <laughs> Sometimes I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm opening, trying to open the door. <laughs> like opening it, normal, pushing it. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. 
Let's knock, maybe. <sighs> yeah, you, you. We, I'm standing here, like next to the wall, that they can't see me, and I'm waving at stuff. You know, you know like, like, hi. You, you're disguised as one of the, the guys now, right? Diamond. Yes. Wait, what? You're disguised as one of the um, elves, right? Uh, not that anymore. That is finished. Yeah. No. Can you do that again? I could do it again, but... With... And yeah. If, yeah, well, if it costs a spell slot, then don't, but... Uh... Oh, it and and then, then what should I do then? Knock on the door, because you're their leader, I'm guessing. And then they open, and then we walk in and kill them. I can do that. Yeah, fine. Yep. Yeah. Doing the... Let me on hide. Hide, hide, hide. Casting... Where is it again? Minor... No, not minor. But... <laughs> this guy's self. Yep. This guy's self as a Jivalnin this time. And how well is... Uh, if you disguise yourself, you still sound like yourself, right? Well, I still sound like myself, so I'm gonna need to do my, I, I guess, either deception or, or performance to try to copy Jivon in. Yes, so... Uh... <laughs> Good luck. Go ahead. Yeah, so... Do a, do a deception, yeah. A deception. So... No, performance. Performance and perform as Jivon in. Exactly, so I'm knocking the door. Guys, open up! It's me, Jivel Nin! You had an accent on the whispering. You had like a French accent. <laughs> yeah, Romanian. Put, put in the accent, man. Yeah, yeah. Ipin, ipin, It's Jivel uh, Nin. <laughs> yeah, like that, like that. Uh, how much did you roll for your performance? Uh, I'm going to do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> the guidance, that's ooh, 15. 15, okay. Uh, <coughs> but master! Master, we, you know we barricade this door always. Why don't you come through the other door? And the other door is... Uh, how do you say? It's... Uh, it's uh, uh, I'm trying to find the English word here. This is yeah, my vocabulary world. that's failing. <laughs> what happened with your English? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you, you know the master's English is not that good. Okay, I'm sorry, boss. You knew. Upinup. Upinup. What is Upinup? He probably wants you to open up the door. <laughs> Hold up, we're gonna open up the door. <laughs> Uh, fucking hell, and you hear that uh, a lot of uh, stuff is being moved to the side and uh, the door opens up and you look straight in the face of a bugbear. Good. Who's that behind you? Ah! And I shout and I, wait and I swing my axe out my hat. And there's a room filled with five bugbears. And uh, you have the surprise attack. So roll for initiative and uh, with surprise. Fireball. Same. Ooh. Kine? It's a good Okay, let's let's get to vodka. <laughs> can I? That's that's the final bit. That's can also I on the t-shirt, right? Can I? Fireball, right? That's how it says can on the t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so spot on. Fireball! <laughs> yes, but first roll for initiative. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I go. Six for the initiative of the Buckbeard. It is Draco first. I'm just uh, hopping in and I'm gonna do a breath attack. So they need to do a DC 11. Oh shit, well, DC uh, deck save. Uh, Dexterity. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Got a little, 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 little. We have. Damn. None of them is above 10. They all fail. Well, that's good. easy then. That's good. That is very good. 
Then I'm gonna throw, and that's a nine, and I'll throw again, and that's a ten. So 19 massive force damage. Damn! So they all get completely blown through the room, like the whole room, just everything just blows up in the air, like forced back, and they all look incredibly hurt. It was uh, 19, you said, right? 19, one 19, nine. so that's okay. Yeah, they are very hurt. And I'm looking cool off my shoulder again. They like. look very bloody. Right. And that's what will be my attack, I guess, because the extra attack is only... No, I don't, well, this is a question I don't actually know. Breath weapon, can I do it twice? It's in the attack action bar. Because you can do two, you can do two actions? Two attacks per action. Two attacks per action. And your breath weapon, is there a limit on your breath weapon, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've used two now, I've got three in total. It resets on a long rest. So, in my opinion, I think you can use them twice per, uh, yeah, per I know, attack. Uh, yeah, spells you can only use once. That's why I'm asking. Oh, really? Yeah. What I, do you my say, Yon? Path is also in the um, attack menu. Sorry? But not like my Eldritch Blast is also in the attack menu. Yeah, um, my breath weapon is also in the attack menu. So, and you can use your Eldritch Blast also twice, right? That's yeah, but that's a part of the other quest. It's not that yeah. I have two attack spreads. Yeah, I would say that the breath weapon you can use, but since there is like a maximum of how many times you can use it, it's not a spell, huh? No. It's not magic. So if you would like to do all your breath weapons at once, then that's up to you, I think. I am gonna right. do it again. Roll for a deck save. Uh, ooh. There's one with a natural 20. There's one with 18. And then there is a 6, a 3, and a 10. 6, 3, and a 10 fail. The other two make it, and I rolled 14. The two in the back make it. So that's uh, 7 then? 7. Mm -hmm. Where's the vigilant one? So they are extremely bloody. And the others are dead. I delete oh. them because it's that makes the Easy. whole thing. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. I'm stepping yeah. aside and because uh, Divus just turned it, so I'm gonna step here and I'm like, go ahead, Divus, just blast away with your fingers. Yeah, exactly. I don't have much point for a fireball here anymore. That's uh, so walking in and then uh, I'll just blasting the brawny bugbear. That's 24 to hit. That hits. And that's going to do 13 damage. And, and second one, 19 to hit. That hits. And 6 damage. And that clears out this uh, bedded room with 5 buckbeers. You just pretended to be Jivril Nin very successfully because they believed you. But then when they opened the door for you and moved the barricades aside, they saw Sephion behind you. So there, what is going on? And then... You all started attacking. Well, when Sephion started attacking, uh, Draco and Dimas uh, noticed and did immediately something as well. So before even Sephion was going to do something with his axe, I think, was it? They were already dead on the floor. And uh, I can imagine that Sephion looks a tiny bit disappointed on his axe, like I wanted to. Aww. Right? That's, that's how Aww. I see it. Like you were ready yeah. to do some fucking damage but then they were a bit quick and uh, and then you look a bit down like uh, when is it when is it my turn to do something Aww. you get to the like try it again Sefion. there's yeah. another door there there's another we'll him on the shoulder but old stone bunks line the walls of this barracks which is lit and heated by a glowing iron brazier in the middle of the room and at this side of the room, it was blocked by a barricade made from the remains of a wooden table. Um, keep in mind, the buckbeers are still there, so be my guest to do whatever you want. I'm gonna search the one that's right, right, right here. Is that by accident the largest buckbeer? Let's say Probably it is. The guy do an here. investigation check. 
I have no clue. I'm not the best at this. Oh shit, that was a net 20, but it rolled off the table. Uh, the other one, investigation, right? Plus yep. zero makes 17. 17, well done. You searched through the bloodied, this, like, completely, uh, how do you say that? Like, he, his face is completely blown away and everything. It, it looks very nasty. It doesn't have teeth anymore and everything, but... He was wearing a leather jacket, and inside of the leather jacket, you find a small pouch with 15 oh. copper pieces and a potion of vitality. Potion of vitality. That sounds cool. I tell you that it is. All right, all right, all right. There is a door to the opposite of the door that you came through. What you gonna do? Open it, of course. <clears throat> of course you open that thing. You open it up. You wanna kick it first, uh, by the way, uh, Sefiana, you wanna just... No, 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 it's fine. All right. I'll open and feel the door if it's open. Ah, uh, that's fantastic, it's open. Wow, I'm walking in. And you, look, see you look into a hallway, mm -hmm. which has a stairs to the right that goes down, and straight ahead, it looks like the hallway opens up in a much larger area. Do I see dim light or something? Not really, but I think Azarea's magic of uh, dark vision for you is still working. Okay. An hour or three, let me see. Well, anyways, I'm going in. He's not sitting still here. Where, where are you going in? You're going down the hallway uh, south, or you go continue on to the larger area that opens up? Larger area. Larger area that opens up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Let's delete it. Delete. Flops. Flops? A blast furnace and a mechanical bellows powered by a water wheel dominate this large chamber. The furnace is cold and dark, but heaps of coal are piled nearby, along with guards full of unrefined ore. The water wheel sits in a 10 foot wide channel cut into the floor of the room, but the channel is dry. Passages exit to the west, south, and east, and the empty channel exits to the north and e east. Sorry, that's so <laughs> More than a dozen withered corpses are scattered around the room. These slain dwarves and orcs are still wearing the remnants of their armor. Floating above them is a skull engulfed in a green flame. Cool. Is this what we're looking for, guys? Hello, flame skull. Ah, you shall not pass. All right, Gandalf, calm down. Uh, 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 excuse you me. You shall not pass. Well, we don't want to pass. Oh. Well. Well, that's yeah. good then. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's good then. then yeah. Turn around and go away from here. What are you guarding, sir? You're doing a great job, by the way. I am guarding what is on the other side. Yeah, we want my dead be. Come on, you're doing a great job. Man, we're going away in a jiffy uh, just in a sec, so... The secrets. I am... You shall not pass. Oh, that's the forge. Yeah, that's not a secret anymore. Everybody knows outside. So they're not... Pa Why do you ask? Oh, hey, hey, I'm just telling you. Your, your secret is out. No. Because it, it, it sucks. You're and, being <coughs> guarded. This you thing. shall <laughs> not pass. I'm Go back for the way you came. 
I'm looking at the other guys, like, what, what are we gonna do? I mean, uh, oh, over him. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. It, it was gonna Go be away! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we won't. Go yeah, back won't. from where you came! That's a long way, man. I'm like, almost a year travel, that is. Yeah, still. <laughs> Do not yeah. pass! I think I think he might knows only two three sentences in common. Yeah, I, I, I think we should just, just attack him. Do not make fun of the skull. Do I not look scary to you all? I am a skull with red flaming eyes and green flames. Well, sir, we killed a dragon. We killed banshees. We killed a. Uh, uh, <laughs> Invisible mm. things that uh, killed me, and then we killed it. And well, well we've seen it all. You're yeah. quite normal in my world now, mm. nowadays. Not, not very big either. That's no. okay, guys, guys. Who wants? To I go? may look like just a skeleton, but also skeleton skull has feelings. I'm sorry. You want to hang out with us after we we doing we my went? best over here, and until now, doing a great job. Yes, yes, you are. The draw yes, elves are. were scared and not passing by. We killed them as well. See, they're dead. Pointing my finger at Sefion and casting the message uh, spell. Say, and so I'm telling like Sefion, you want to take the first hit? Uh, first, I want to check if I know anything. What kind of creature it is? Uh, it's obviously an undead. So, uh, Mr. Uh, do you have a name, uh, Mr. Flames Skull Skull Flamer thing? Because you've been here for like a long time, aren't you? Uh, since the beginning of this, uh, I was to protect. Oh, you're from the dwarves. The dwarves made you. Yes, uh, the, unfortunately they are. But I can get them to power. They raise we, we, from the dead. No, 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 that's fine. We've got a, we got a dwarf uh, up in the room safe. So remember. So I'm speaking, I'm going to speak dwarfish to him now. So that's look at, that's his home language. Like, it must have been a while that you spoke dwarfish to somebody, right? What was that? Must have been a while that you spoke dwarfish with somebody. Because he's been made I don't understand dwarf. what you're now jibber-jabbing. Oh, you don't understand Dwarvish. That does not make oh, sense. Oh, I said Dwarvish. It sounded awfully familiar. But uh, who, what do you think that I'm going to be able to speak Dwarvish? She said the Dwarves made you to protect something. Look at the floor. You see all these Dwarf skeletons. Does their head look anything like mine? I'm going to attack him. Uh, which one? Can you point it out to me? And I'm just walking a little bit. Can you, which one? Uh, the, all of them here, down there. I cannot point. It's, I'm only a flaming skull. You idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm like looking. You at shall me. not pass. No, no, I'm not passing that one. So he, he looks that way. No. Oh. Sephion gets an opportunity to take with advantage. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm good. That I'm one? Good. Just start pointing. That one, sir? Yep. That one? Good. While it's attacked, I attack it in the back with my U. Attack it in the back. So what you want to do? Or you can have the first round and then we do initiative. Or you have all a surprise round. But then the chance is that Zephyr is not going to have the first hit. Hmm. Okay. But all, all, all is... Yeah, okay. I kill enough. It's up to Zephyr. Good. Then Zephyr has the first attack and then we roll for initiative. The smartest choice of us, but it's fine. Uh, 14... Plus eight. What do you do, Sephion? Speak I out. Take out my, oh, sorry, I said I take my axe and I attack him, so I want to try to plant it in the back of his head. I lift you above my head and I splice it in his back. And I roll 14 plus eight, so uh, 21 for uh, attack. That hits. And then I upgrade it with... Uh, um, I think it's an undead. At least it looks undead. It looks like a flaming skull. Divine smite them. Mm -hmm. So that does. Is it does it hit first? It hits, yeah. 21. Yeah. It hits, yes, for sure. 
So that is five plus five. So that is ten slashing damage. All right. And then one, uh, four. Is it is it is it uh, on that or not? I don't know. Well, if it's on that, I can do another radiant uh, uh, with my um, but with my action with my divine smile. And if it's not on that, I can only do two d8 radiant damages. It is uh, on that. I'll give you that one. Uh, and seven. Until now, I only written down ten slashing damage. Oh, uh, I think it was five and one before the seven. Plus five, plus one, and then and the seven, seven. Twenty-three. And what damage is that? So 571 is radiant, and radiant. the rest was flashing. That's, so that's 23 in total. Do I have that correct? Could be, yeah. Because it was not very clear to me, sorry. Oh. Could be. Uh, I have not uh, calculated. Nevertheless, roll for initiative. Draco is up. Hey, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Flames, Flames Call, but uh, you you have to retire. And it is a 13 plus seven, seven yeah. So, uh, that misses. Yeah. 20 misses. I thought you said seven. No, 13 plus 7. Oh, wait, it's even an 18 plus 7, so 25. Ah, there you go. Well, yeah, that hits. <laughs> I thought, what, what the fuck? Uh, Sorry, is it me eight. or is then the mic sometimes disrupting or so? Because I miss really some information sometimes. Yeah. Uh, is it mine? Only mine? No, no, no. No. Oh. Uh, who left? I think no. the DM left and comes back to see. No, 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 I'm still here. Oh, 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 that's the it's music the, thing. The then. music thing that uh, that's good yeah. now. Uh, Twelve slashing damage. Twelve slashing damage. All righty then. There you go. And how does it look now? It looks like it's getting extremely angry, and the green flames behind its back is getting much bigger. Sir, I don't want to do this. I like you. You want to be friendly with us, or you want to die? Alright, no response. You was gonna die! Net 20. Alright. You said what, sir? <laughs> so that's uh, 14 slashing. I think you can count on that. <laughs> and, and then I'm gonna... Well, he's already on fire. I don't think setting it on fire more would do good. So 14 slashing. 14 slashing. All right. So, when you do that, you pulverize the whole skull, and a large flash of light appears, and the skull falls in different pieces on the floor, and the green fire goes out. That was easy. Okay, what's the trick? And at that point, when he dies, and falls to the floor. You hear grumbling and grunting. And oh, the ground down. starts moving. At least that's what it feels like. But all the dwarves on the floor start getting up. And I'll... Can I add them now immediately in? Can I, uh, can I talk to them? And it is 13 on there. Initiative. Can I first talk to them? You want to talk to the zombies? Zombies. Never. 
heard of zombies being reasonable. <laughs> Ah, no, they're drawfish. If you want to talk to them, they're, but they're still zombie, so if you want to talk to them, then do so. No, I'm just looking the one in front they of me. They just climb up like... And I'll speak dwarfish towards them. Uh, uh, I'll just say, uh, where's the where's the tavern? Uh, they I, I just go for you that, that, and growl that, 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 and trying that, that, to grab you with their arms. Well, my uh, it's my turn still, right? Um, because I attack twice, so I can still do the pokey stuff and and then Drexis, right? Do so. All right, so Rocket Zombie is getting the pokey end of the stick, and it's a uh, wow, a massive five plus seven, twelve to hit. Twelve to hit. That hits. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, one massive two plus four six bludgeoning damage right in the skull so right like between the, the eyes skull. I'm gonna poke him right between the eyes mm -hmm. and then uh, Drex has eight plus what does he do mr. Six, so fourteen to hit. That hits. Also, the ragged yeah. zombie. This, yeah, the same one. The one uh, close to me. That's a five plus three, eight uh, piercing damage. Okie dokie. Good. Still, it's a zombie. How badly hurt can it look like it's already? The it's dwarven zombie. The armor is still on there and just growls. The jaw is falling to the floor. And then it's Daimos' turn. Uh, I'm not, yeah, not gonna do anything very special. No, no, I'm not gonna do. Like it's too close, just too close for a fireball. So just gonna outer blast the tough zombie. All right. And the first one is twelve to hit. That hits. And it's doing eight damage. Eight damage. All right. And the second one is 11 to hit. That hits. And <laughs> is doing 7 damage. 7 damage. All right. Also, this zombie is not dead. Well, it is dead, but it's not killed. It's not destroyed. It keeps on growling and looking at you. And then it's uh, Sephion's turn. Um... Okay, I'm gonna hit the top one as well. And that is 19 plus 8, 27 to hit. 27 to hit. Yes. That hits. That was 5 plus uh, 5 is 10 taxing damage. 10 slashing damage. That means that you destroy that. You cut off his head. No? Okay, I cut off his head. Alright, you cut off his head and it drops to the floor. Don't you worry, even though I'm deleting them, I am for XP marking down how many creatures you killed. Hell yeah. Okay. And, well, then the rock zombie is on the other side of me. I turn around and I take you and I try to Put the axe right between his eyes. Right between his eyes. Go for it. That is 16 to hit. That hits. So you manage to hit him behind the eye. But are you also managing to destroy the thing? Uh, 2 plus 5. So that's 7. Uh, slashing damage. 7 slashing damage is just not enough. But he's so weak on its feet. He's really growling looking at you. Okay. With his arms stretched out. Then we have a couple of zombies that uh, is having their turn. Here we go. Let's uh, let's let's do this. Where's the brave zombie? Brave zombie uh, goes to Drax. Can only do a slam attack, so that is oh 21 to hit. 
dead. And that is six bludgeoning damage. The clever zombie. Oh, the 20 feet can I walk? Draco is within reach, so that's good. And he goes out. Yeah, where? Go. Yeah, they come in reach, and because uh, of my uh, my feet, I can't do an opportunity attack. So, uh, that's 10 plus se 7 is 17. That hits? <laughs> With a massive 11 slashing damage, whoever came first, and then the other one is a net 20, so that will be 14 slashing damage. There we go. A bit earlier next time before the other one, it was already the turn of another zombie. Bad, my bad. Cunning zombie comes uh, to Dimas, uh, tries to do a slam, but that's five to hit, so that misses. Then we have a disheveled zombie who is close to Azarea, so goes for Azarea. That's also five to hit, so he also misses his slam. Azarea was quick enough to duck away. The rough zombie. Where are you? Where are you, rough zombie? Right one. Total... Not rob zombie, but rough zombie. The most right one. He goes to Sephion. In reach, I'm gonna... Uh, 16 plus 7. Well, that hits, right? 10, 10 plus 4, 14 slashing on rough. Which feet is that? The pole arm master feet. Pole arm master. And how much damage did you do to the uh, rocket? No, the rough. 14. All right, there you go. And then, but he still tries to go for Sephion, which is thirteen to hit. So he also misses. And then the rugged one, who is incredibly hurt by Sephion, he also tries to go for Sephion, but that is nine plus three. That's twelve. Also oh. misses. And then there's still one. That goes to Azarea. <laughs> is it in your area or not, Draco? No, he was already in, so that's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and Azarea, that's a 22 to hit. That hit. So he is. So you are getting five bludgeoning damage. Oh. Of character, if you like combine Polar Master with Sentinel, if I hit a creature with Sentinel, their movement becomes zero, so you'll never get to people. I can just stop them dead in the track. I'm gonna look that up. What is uh, do you have that already? No, I just have Polar Master. I'm not gonna do that to you. I find it boring. I, I am gonna look it up. Sounds interesting. As a player, not as a DM. Yeah. It's a pole arm, because I have 10 feet, I can poke them. If I hit them, Sentinel drops their movement to zero, so they can't even go get close to me. If I hit them, of course. Is there a saving throw? No? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I think Azarea's turn, right? Yes, indeed. Azarea, your turn. Area keeps very calm. No, no, no problem. I take out my amulet, my opalescent crunch, and I start mumbling a elvish prayer. And I use channel divinity, turn undead. And since all the dear undead zombies are within my 30 uh, feet radius, they all need to make a saving throw. Uh, let me see how many there are still. One, All two, them. three, four, five, six, seven. And three, three, four, five. Yes. Save it. Save it, day 20. Chup, chup. Okay, what is their CR? Uh, a quarter. 
Nice. One fourth. Yeah, good enough. Well, that's very great. So, mm -hmm. we have 18, 15, 16, uh, 10, 7, 9, and 4. Okay, everybody below 13 is dead. How? Hey, yo. So. so, if a creature fails... See, so from level level six, I have or level five, I have this thing that if their CR is below a half, then they all dead instantly. Oh, nice. <laughs> and um, they need to be below thirteen. The ones below thirteen saving throw, yeah. All right, so four of them, I would say the ones closest to you, they are dead. Nice. And uh, I make a Constitution saving throw. DC5 was damage taken. They didn't take damage, so they are just completely destroyed. Looking at uh, Azurea, I'm smiling like, and I'm, and I'm trying to <laughs> wink as well now, but I can't. Both like, uh, eyes. Yeah. So yeah, cool. <laughs> I think I wink back. <laughs> yeah, Draco thinks that's an elfish thing. All right. Uh, that leaves three left. Uh, Draco's turn. Alright, uh, the one closest to Sephion, I'm gonna attack. With a. Damn it. 5 plus 7, so 12 to hit. That hits. Oh, 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 oh. With a. Well, 10 plus 4, 14 slashing damage. 14, and which one was it? Uh, rough. Rough one. Rough, 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 rough. Rough, rough. Rough, rough, rough one. And he's dead. Well, I mean, he was already dead, but this time now he's destroyed. Uh, he got uh, 14 damage. Um, but he comes back. He climbs back up again. <laughs> oh, you bastard. And I'm going to do it again. Like, next time, stay down. And it's fifth. No, I have to look good. 13 plus 7, so 20 to hit. And that's uh, another, well, another 10. So 14, and I'm going to infuse it with Drax. With flames, then. And that's, f so 14 slashing and 4 flaming damage. <laughs> you better stay down this time and I'll <laughs> whack him. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, this time he stays down. Cannot throw that high to get him back up again. So this time the zombie was uh, is uh, falling to the floor and falls apart, and there's no movement more anymore in this zombie. I think it's Dimas' turn now, right? No, I can poke the end of the stick, the other one. 19 plus 7 for massive 8 bludgeoning damage. Massive 8 bludgeoning damage. And he gets back up. And he falls to the floor, and also this uh, this one stays down. Oh! Mm -hmm. Now, damn it, Sternus. Yeah. And I'm doing another double shot Eldritch Blast from both my hands. Oh, that's in that one. So that was my left hand, obviously. Yep. <laughs> huh. uh, there's nobody. Uh... Or York. Yeah, I was also thinking. You should York! Unfortunately. Oh. You hit York! <laughs> he was flying between you and the zombie. At just what at that really? point. You hit York. How no. much damage did you do to York? <coughs> uh, he has like three health or something like that. <laughs> so I think you just blasted York out of the sky. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, I guess I did. Well, at least it's not Draco this time. Oh, well, yeah. York is also having his part. So. Well, Draco so it's just like uh, it's like poof, uh. and the York explodes, and so there's still like three feathers floating down <laughs> to the sky. Uh, he'll, he'll be back. Uh, uh. Um, second one, twenty-five to it. Uh, um, yeah, that hits this time. This one you hit. This time you hit the, the zombie. And eight damage. And eight damage. No hard feelings, uh, Dimas, but with a net one, unfortunately, that was your. No. 
That happens. Yeah, it's just it's normal. He's used to it. That's basically how you say it. Yes. Sapion. He's, he's immortal, so that's cool. That's cool. Well, kind of. Uh, does so, he? Does I'm... he feel? Yeah, he he did feel this then. No. <laughs> yeah, but they like pain in the health, so that's. Oh yeah, so he's going. Oh, oh give wow. me more yeah. next time when he wakes up. Yeah. yeah yes, Daddy. Sapion, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one zombie left. I think you can handle him. Okay, okay, okay. I take out my axe and I try to hit the zombie on the neck because he's wearing a helmet. So I'm like, uh, do, do something uh, cool, uh, Sefion. Do it sideways, and uh, I rolled five, oh, plus eight, so that is uh, eight, uh, thirteen to hit. That hit. And that of three is eight uh, damage, clutching. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not enough. So uh, your uh, axe gets, you know, you cleave him, but uh, he's still walking to you, growling with his arms forward, um, stretching. The second, the second one is sixteen. To hit, that hit. Yes, and that does uh, six plus five is eleven lasting damage. All right, so you take back your. So you first smack him in the neck, and you you come an end, but he's not in two. So then you take it back and you slam again. And this time, you indeed cut him in half. And the zombie... Well, does he fall? Is he getting up? Oh no, next time in... Oh. Yes, he's getting back up again. There's still a tiny bit of his middle that is attached to it. Uh, can I try to push him and then push him in the... In the... I think you did all your actions, no? Uh, isn't that not a bonus action? No, uh, that's no. just in. Uh, oh, it's just in. That's, um, that's an action. In uh, how is it called? Uh, the Baldur's Gate. This is uh, <laughs> D and D, not Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, then that's it. Uh, but he's like, yeah, like you can you can imagine how much HP he has. He uh, he was down, but he gets back up. Half disabled. Uh, his, his body is uh, hanging like on just a piece of flesh together, and he's Azarea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hmm? there's still a zombie there. Oh, is he not trying to attack or anything? Uh, oh, it is his turn. Yeah, he tries to attack Sephion. That's that's true. Uh, but yeah, his arms are more floating down to the ground than uh, anywhere else. So I'll give him disadvantage with this one. That's a four plus three, seven to hit, Sefion. Uh, that misses terribly. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, because it's like... His head is even closer to the floor than, than to, to anything else. Like, he's cut in half, but there's just one skin uh, still hanging on. But he's walking towards you, so Azorea, what you doing? I take out my Opolis and Tronch again. <laughs> of course you do. And I don't move a muscle further, so uh, yeah, throw me a saving throw. You know that there is a max on the channel divinity that you can do, huh? Uh, I don't see any of that. Yeah, there should be. There for one. There should be. <laughs> one, that's that's what I'm trying to say. It, it it could be a waste to use that on uh, yeah, on just one. Keep, keep. But that's just uh, the DM trying to help you out there. I understand, but I, I have multiple actions that have a, a limit on how many times, but this one doesn't. Channel Divinity, it should, it should have. You can oh, look yeah. it up. Minus one wants, yeah. uh, wants a shortcut at mine. It doesn't say though that. Yeah, Channel Divinity, two times per short rest. Then I don't do that on one. Then I just throw off the... Yeah, yeah. Two the... shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, da, 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 produce him and throw it at him. All right. You tell Sefion uh, to talk? Yeah. I had to think about that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of fire will not hurt that much. So, uh, 14 to hit. 14 to hit. That hits. It's 8 plus 
to 10 to uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. So he drops down to the floor. <sighs> but unfortunately, he gets back up again. Wow. Jesus. Oh, you mother. And he gets closer to Zephion. Draco. Hi, everyone. Stand here, and I'll just look at let, look at the the group, and like let me handle this. And uh, the fuck is this? Nine plus seven, so sixteen. That hits. With seven plus four is eleven slashing damage, and I'm gonna infuse it with Drex for a massive six, so seventeen damage. Seventeen damage. Here I go. Yeah, no, that's not high enough. This time he stays down and he's dead. And those I were just the. Watch my shoulders, zombies. like. Yeah. You cleared out this area. The Smelter Cavern. Is this what we're looking for, guys? Is it? Um, I don't know. I think. Don't think so. Doesn't look very interesting. I don't. I don't, like, I don't think so, you know. No. Alright. Well, let's uh, uh, keep moving then. Can I, well, can I... Uh, I want to inspect the water wheel. If the if I stand on this side, are the paddles going up or the paddles downward? Uh, let me have a look. Do an investigation check. Uh, seven. Seven. I just want to know if the paddles, uh, like inside the wheel, they're like paddles. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they I know. have to be. I know. You up want to know down. what the direction of the water flows in? That, yeah. Well, you, yeah, that's what I wanted to figure out. That's why I want to look at the paddles. But it's more like they are straight lined. Which means that it's designed that whichever the water comes from, it will always circle around. All right, all right, all right. We know nothing. So, um, do you know how tall is this? Like, basically, now forward? you know that water can come from both sides. Yeah. So. Okay. So this goes like this, and then there's one part that goes inwards, or inwards, or inwards. I'm guessing. Big ass kiss. You still can we see inward? The flow can we, water. Can we still? Can we? Can we go in here? You can, of course. Look, look, it's like I mean, uh, look, look, it's look. like a, a bit deeper. It's like five feet deeper. Uh, but you can look in there, but it takes a turn to the left. So it goes... Uh, wait, wait, okay, so... Like this. Like, yeah. Back to the other room. What do we know? Yeah. There you go. Ah. 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 So... Let, let's try this... this door. I uh, totally agree. Why would we go there? One then? of the hallways that goes more east. Oh, in, in this? Well, sorry for the interruption, by the way. Mm -hmm. This is also like a... That's a hallway that goes south. Yes, indeed. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. To the east. Yeah. Let's go east. To the east. You find a hallway that uh, turns a tiny bit to the right. All right. I guess I'm just going to follow it. Follow it yeah. along, and you make a turn to the right, and go to the left. And there, you enter another area. This looks interesting. Glittering minerals in the ceiling of this large cavern catch the light and send it back to create the impression of a starry night sky. Dozens of skeletons, many crushed under fallen debris, are scattered across the floor. The cave is large enough that it contains two freestanding structures. Each of these stone buildings is proportioned for human use as opposed to the dwarf-sized doorways 
and furnishing you've seen elsewhere in the mines. Both structures have battered and blackened masonry walls, and their double doors cracked and scorched. The cavern is divided by an escarpment into which a flight of stairs has been cut. Passages lead out of this area to the north, south and west. Okay. That's, we want to investigate those buildings, right guys? Mm-hmm. That two different doors, like this is the, the, this looks like a door, and this as well. Indeed, uh, one with double doors and one with a small door. You don't think it's the same room? Mm, probably. I'm standing here, and I'm feeling the door, like with my back against this uh, wall, and it's oh. just reaching only with my hand. To Hold on, I need to need to get something. Uh, Bells dragons. Oop. I think that's uh, good. So that door you want to have a look at. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. You can open it up if you like. I'm opening it up. Oh, you are at the double doors. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I was looking at Zephyr. Sorry. But you open up the double doors. Ooh, cool. All right. I don't know what it is, but okay. And this large workshop was badly damaged by the Asian spell battle that laid waste to the mine. Work tables taking up two corners of the room are scorched and the plaster has been burned off the masonry walls. In the middle of the room, a stone pedestal holds a small brazier in which an eerie green flame dances and crackles. The brazier and its pedestal appear to have been untouched by the forces that destroyed this area. Behind the brazier of green flame floats a spherical creature measuring roughly four feet in diameter. Four eye stalks protrude from its central mass, two on each side. In the center of the body is a large eye that stares at you. Hello, says a thick, burbling voice inside your head. What is it? Hello? 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 How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing fine as well. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm Draco. Draco? I've never seen you in the mine before. Well, it's my first time here. I'm having a lovely time. You first time. You came to work in the mine. I... Came to work in the mine, yeah, at the forge. Yeah, there is. They're helping you to be here. Well, uh... I'm new here, as you can see, and my friends are new. We just got hired, and we're... You got friends? Hard. Yes, yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're four of us. So what Me, are you yeah. doing here? Don't we're touch left. any item in this place, because I will need to destroy you. Yeah, 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 of course. We won't, but can you lead us the way to the forge? Because we're kind of lost. We're new, you know. Which forge? Uh, the forge of spells. No, 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 the Force of Spells is the green flame here next to me, but you should not come here. Oh, oh, my bad. Where's the... Oh, silly me. Where's the, the mines? Where do I need to go? Right? Left? This yeah, way? Yeah, you need to be... Uh, go, uh, oh, the way. hallway. To the water goes. To the water mill. Let the dwarves. Oh, the water mill. Let the dwarves yeah, yeah. in the reckon, you know? Because... I've been yeah. hired here to uh, guard all the stuff, so I'm from a different plane. But yeah. I've been come here, uh, to, you know, by the lizard that lives yeah, in the yeah. other hut. Uh, which hut? The the one uh, that. Yeah, one yeah, 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 okay. Well, thanks. I'm closing the door now. Bye. 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 So, right. Right, guys, this, this is the force of spells. I found it. What, what was that about? Who? And there's a there's a floating head with eyes, and it's guarding the Forge of Spells. The Forge of Spells is in here. And he speaks head. in your head, just so you, just you know the thing. Uh, 
the thing. Not, not now, because the door's closed, right? No, 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 but it, it did. Every conversation you, did, you spoke oh, out okay, loud, yeah. I think, but he spoke in your head. Okay, well, the Forge of Spells is in there. And there's a floating head with eyes guarding it. And if it, it says he's... We can't get in, and if we get in, he'll kill us. Okay, but he was further friendly to you, like... Well, I don't know if he's friendly to me if we get inside, but, uh, yeah. Quite, uh, quite, quite, uh... What, 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 did he, what, did he, what did he tell you? We need to go to the mines and work there. I, I just told him we work at the mine, we got hired to work in the mines. Or, uh, no, I told him to work in the forge. But then he says, that's not true, because this is the forge. Okay, so we, what if we would tell him we would work, came to work here in the forge? I already said that. Hmm. And he said no. Then we just kill him? Yeah, sure. You know what? Uh, you, uh, I'll open the door for you. You uh, point your fingers at him and... Sefion? Uh... Uh, I have an idea. Let, uh, let go from two sides. Because maybe he has another door. Did you see a door in there on the, in the left side somewhere, uh, Draco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I looked in, I saw a door on the left, yeah. Yeah, well, here is a door as well, and that's on the left side. So if there's a door, if you saw it on the left, and there must be another door in the room here, then we can surprise him from two sides. That might give us, like, just the advantage we need to attack this creature. Right, but, uh, okay, okay. For me, what are we doing here? We need to go to the forge. So we found the forge, but there's, like, a spider uh, drow elf thing. Do we need to kill that as well? We need the forge. So. Need... Okay, well, yep, yeah. Let, let's kill this thing then first, sure. It looks menacing okay. though, but uh, yeah, sure. I'm gonna try this door, uh, DM. Of course you do. Please, open it up, it's not locked. Oh, I open it up. And there you see a small room which has been, for the most part, completely destroyed. There were some tables, but there's just... Uh, covered on the rubble and you see that there is another door to your in the right meantime end. i'm gonna cast resistance on myself i'm touching myself and i cast uh, resistance there is another is there somebody wants all to come this way so we can do it <coughs> yep um yeah well uh, i'll stay here with azarea we're a good team all right okay let's go uh, uh, Damas, you come with me, and I come stand over here. Well, me and Azrael, I'm waiting for the kicking in door part and scream, screaming. Oh, let's have a yeah, Oh no, Sefion did say it. Okay, the door. okay Damas, you, you, like, very silently open door and I run in and attack. Okay. Very sneaky silently, so I hopefully can surprise him, but hopefully he's still watching the other door. So as the, I'm, I'm trying to very steadily, like very slowly, open up the hinge of the door, just enough without hearing a click, if can be. You know, as 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 a small kid that's trying to steal some candy in the middle of the night, you know, like really, really silently, and then uh, see if I can manage that to open the door. Do a stealth check. He has five eyes. But no ears, no, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> but he can look everywhere. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh, 12 plus 5 is 17. Yep, you're stealthy enough. All right. Okay, Sefian, it's open. I'm going to put the axe over my head and I uh, try to hit it with you. All right. I'm sorry, Charlie, I didn't mean to shout that loud. <laughs> so, uh, it, uh, same story. Surprise round, or you Sepion has the first attack and then reroll for initiative. In this case, I would choose for a surprise round. Right round, so I'm kicking in the door as well. At the same time, good. Then let's yeah. roll for initiative, and uh, you all go first. And the spectator skips a turn. Draco, your turn. I'm gonna bonus action Zephyr strike on myself. Yes. Yeah. So he takes an extra D6. And... Oh, shit. Net 20. So that's 10. Mm -hmm. Plus 4 is 14. Then I'm going to 
Because I did the Zephyr Strike. Is that also the max damage then? Wait, the what is a Zephyr Strike? It's uh, um, it's an extra D8 force damage. Well, it's it's everything you roll, spell. in my opinion. Okay, so that's 14 plus... Like if that's a spell you do when you do a, a crit and then you, you've already said that you're going to use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then uh, last time when uh, I think Zephyr had a crit on Channel Divinity or something, then mm -hmm. he also could do that double. Okay. So, 22 damage then. Alright. Um, okay, and I'm gonna attack again. This time, oh, that's not that good. So, 2 plus 7. 9. That misses. I thought. And as a bonus action, I'm gonna do the pointy end of the stick. Because the spell is still there. Uh, 9 plus 7 makes 16 to hit. That hits. Alright. So, that's... 3. I'm gonna infuse it with Drax. 3, so 6. And I'm gonna do the... Uh, Seven strike part. Uh, this is the D8. 1, wow. Uh, six, seven plus four is eleven damage in total. And then I'm gonna be a coward and I'm gonna hide behind this wall. All right. Because I don't trust this thing one bit. Sephion turn. Um. Well, then I'm going to uh, attack it. And I roll uh, 18 to hit. That hits. Uh, 19 actually, 11 plus. Wow, that's 13. Plus 8 to this, yeah. Uh, okay, then I roll for damage. That is 8 plus 5, so that's 13 damage on my first attack. Mm hmm. And actually, I'm gonna up that to uh, uh, Divine Smite, level 2. Yeah. That is okay. 4, that is 8, and that is 2. Uh, 14 Radiant damage. Extra on top of that. Nice. And then for my second attack, I roll 13 plus 8, so that's a dirty 20 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that does uh, 7 uh, plus 5, so that is 12 slashing damage. Alright, nice. Uh, it's hurt, but it's not very badly hurt. Yes. Okay, that's uh, all I can. Actually, no, I still have a. No, never mind. I'm gonna come do that. Ezra. Yes. I uh, come close to the spectator, grab one of his eyes that is the or the tentacles that is closest to me, and I'm gonna do level one infliction. All right. Is 19 plus five to hit. That hits. Then it is five plus six plus three, so that's fourteen necrotic damage. Fourteen necrotic damage. All right. It hurts him. You see, there is some black coming under your arm that's covering the green stuff from one of the tentacles with the eye. He's licking his. Well, he doesn't have lips, but with the large tongue, he's licking his teeth while he looks at you with that one big eye in the center of his body. Dimas, you're behind Sephion. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to walk a little bit past Sephion. All right. And then I'm going to do uh, Aldrich Best. Just of course. Being very um, original again. Uh, and that is 15 to hit. 
Uh, that hits. Does it? Oh, yeah, it does it. Does it? Yeah, it does it. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, we have it. And 13 damage. 13 damage? Yeah. All right. Second Outer's Blast. Going for 26 to hit. And that's 9 damage. 9 damage. Very much hurt. He's shaking, shaking. Well, very much hurt. He is hurt. But not deadly yet. And uh, you see that the tentacles are going round and round and looking at you all from a different perspective. And it's his turn. And you see that one tentacle is looking at Cephion and Dimus and do a constitution saving throw. You can do plus three, by the way. Oh, on that. That's not too much. Uh, sorry? It's not, it's not oh. Sorry, Savion? Uh They must have a plus three on that. Oh. You as well? Yeah. It's his aura right now. This is a saving throw. Now it, uh, his aura worked, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, you not, uh, Savion? Yeah, also, also for myself, of course. So, yeah, uh, uh, is that uh, always uh, active, that aura? Yeah. Yeah, it's an aura. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good, yeah, so, constitution saving throw. Tell me the results. Yeah, even with the aura, I have 8. Alright. And I have 13 plus 6, so that is 19. 19. So, Dimus, you take 16 necrotic damage, and Sephion, you take 8. Another tentacle is turning around and is looking straight at Azarea. Azarea, do a constitution saving throw. Seventeen. Seventeen. Nothing happens. Nothing happens to you. And that was the turn of the spectator. Draco, your turn. Next. Okay, come in again. I stand here. I am going to poke him. With 12 plus 7, it's 19 to hit. I'm going to infuse hold on, it with... Hold on, hold no, on. One, one second, by the way. Just uh, sorry for interruption, really. Um, oh, oh, fine. Just, just something occurred to me, double-checking. We all know that we started without a long or short rest for everybody, right? And you did yeah. do already some battles in the yeah. first round. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So everybody is still up to date with their spells and divinity and their HP. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still 55. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth, your full HP? I'm not 75. No, uh, it's, seven, it's 70, I mean. All right. Yeah. Just double checking. Just but yeah. not, I'm, not, that we, only... uh, not that we started this session again with full specs and full HP. No, I have uh, no second level spell slots, and I only have one first level spell slot. So. I used one spell slot, and that's... Azarea, you good? I'm uh, 38. Yeah, because uh, uh, Sephion is not using the... Um, Sephion's using the D&D &D Beyond, I think, for the HP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, just double-checking. No, no, com no complaining over here. Just double-checking that we are all on the same page. Alright, well, 19 to hit. Well, guess what? That hits. Yes, sir. That's right. And six. Is this six? This is six, right? This is six. Why is it so fucking stupid? Well, yeah, that's six, because it's on the side of the five. Six uh, plus four, that makes ten. I'm going to infuse it with Draco for massive two flaming damage, or twelve damage in total. Twelve damage in total. All right. Then I'm going to attack again. Oh, wait, no, my spell is still up, so I can do a d8 as well. It's one minute. For seven force damage, so 90 damage it was. 90 damage it was? Yeah, 19. What? I want nine. My second attack <coughs> is a massive three plus seven, ten to hit. Guessing that misses. Yes, indeed, that misses. And then I'm gonna do the pokey end. 13 plus 7 is 20. 
That hits. I want to, I want to do this spell good because. Uh, you move like a Once before the spell ends. Alright, you can distract the detract the, the seven damage. I already did that. It's only once, apparently. Oh, okay. But I forgot I can give myself advantage, but it's it's fine. It's um fine. Now I do this. And that's it. Two plus four. No, it was the other end. It's the other, the other one. It's four plus four. Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning? Mm -hmm. Yes. And guess what? I'm running away. <laughs> There's no opportunity. Yeah, no, you're not uh, close enough for the opportunity nope. attack. Nope. No. Somebody All right. Good. Well, he looks incredibly hurt, this spectator. He's actually starting to look like he's uh, properly damaged. Uh, that means that Sephi on his turn. I'm gonna use you and I'm gonna try, try to hit one of his eyes off. And that is that's 13 damage. 13 to hit, I mean. 13 to hit. That yes. misses. And 23 to hit. 23 to hit. That hits, of course. And that is 8 plus. Five uh, damage, so that's thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. damage. All right. Well, you were not able to cut it off, but you definitely hurt it very badly. He's actually uh, from all the cuts that you made him. You see that there's this dark greenish, gluish things start dropping, dripping from it. Azarea's turn. Uh, I do primal, primal savagery. <laughs> Seventeen to hit. Seventeen to hit. Go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And ten damage. Uh, what was it? Acid damage. Acid damage. So, Azurea, tell me. How does this look like? Oh, I did the primer savagery, so I... Uh... Yeah, tell me, what does it look like? Yeah, Imagine, I'm, take I'm a, me there. A, I'm a if you would give me the time. <laughs> no. I grow some long claws and grow longer teeth. Mm -hmm. And I look very angry. And I uh, grab one of his tentacles and use my other arm to slice it open oh wow uh, you're killing it by the way you're you're doing the final damage so you can and, um, go wild and i bite on it and uh, oh, okay, okay. you're ripping Shake it, it apart left. you're i'm shaking it left and right and you're pulling off with the exit damage you're pulling off all the tentacles and tongue and it just Completely, and every piece that you rip off, you see that it disappears in the abyss and goes back to the plane of where it came from. And that is the end of the spectator. And that leaves you all alone in the room with a stone brazier that is one with the floor and the platform that it's on. And in this brazier is a green flame so I'm, 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 uh, I'm back in. sounded like a lady gaga song <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna check the tables if there's cool stuff here check in the tables if there's cool stuff here yeah uh, this was room Uh, do an investigation check. Of course I will. And that will be a mighty 18. A mighty 18. Yeah, that's pretty good. So on this work table were two items huh? that probably the spectator was there to protect. 
Blood block. Here we come. You find Lightbringer. Lightbringer. Oh. A Does one a plus one maze. It looks does it look holy? Yes. I know who's getting that. Yes, I sent two items you said, right? And a dragon guard. That a, sounds cool. Dragon a, guard. A plus one breastplate, which has a gold dragon motif into its design. Please say it's medium. Okay. Dragon guard. Uh, can I Google it? It's a uh, breastplate. It yeah, Google it. It's fine by me. Is like you can do a history check on it as well. There's there's some a bit more information for to know. But can I inspect the dragon guard? Like history twice? Yeah, yeah of course. Do a history check. <laughs> 16 plus uh, history. Zero, so 16. 16. Yeah, you find it that it's a, a nice, uh, nice shiny uh, breastplate with a golden dragon on top of it. But you have no idea for who it was ever created. Uh, okay. <laughs> Still looks pretty awesome. Yeah, Might have some would. magical properties. We should let, let, let someone investigate it. Um, Can I ask if it's like medium armor or heavy armor, DM? A breastplate, doesn't it tell you? Breastplate is like, yeah, okay, I'll breastplate. Bre breast Breastplate is like, yeah, well, that's it's, it's medium, right? Yeah, but it's a heavy armor. It's a medium armor. I can wear it. I'm just, because it has a dragon, I'm taking that. I am uh, walking with Timace to Azurea. Do, 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 do. I like this ma'am suits you very well. This looks like something you could use. And I'm handing over the mace. Okay, I, I look at it and I do a history check. Yeah, do I so. Thank him for it. If it's fine with you guys. Three. 18, so that's 21, right? 16 plus 3, so then 19. Oh, 19, okay. Well, fair enough. What you you take a good look at it, and your eyes widen, and you look at Draco, and when you like look into Draco's gaze, you get a bit blushy and stuff. So you look quickly away, but then still you can't. There's a surprise on your face because yeah. you know that this mace was made once for a cleric of La Thunder, the god of dawn. The head of the mace is shaped like a sunburst and made of solid brass and it's named Lightbringer and it wept, it glows as bright as a torch when its wielder commands. And while it's glowing, the mace deals an extra 1d6 radiant damage to undead creatures. Hey. Silence, thank you. A bit more cheerful nice, would have nice. been nice. Yeah, that's... Yay! Yeah, there you go. Yay. Thank you. Your enthusiasm rocks Good. my world. Uh, <coughs> Good. So I'm, I'm putting on the breastplate. You guys don't mind me wearing dragon stuff, right? So I'm looking, pointing at my <laughs> cool-ass dragon chest. No, no, no. Surely not. Go for it. Oh, yeah. You good? Sefian, be good? Yep. yep. And while they're doing that, I'm just casually casually getting my black lantern from my backpack and I'm putting it in the flame. So I'll see if I can catch the flame as if it's the no most normal thing to do and then see what happens. I want to put it back in my backpack back afterwards. So when you do this, you see that indeed the flame jumps over to the lantern. But as soon as you take the lantern away, the flame just turns into a normal colored flame is the, is the forge out then now or still burning it's still burning just just the flame in the lantern is normal again exactly the flame uh. in the brazier stays green so can i inspect it of course you can to inspect the uh i think that is an arcana yep arcana check to do on the brazier with the green flame can we use it? Can we make stuff, guys? That'd be neat. I don't know how that works, but can we just... I don't know. 
16. Nice. 16. So, let me tell you. You identify that the brazier is the source of the magic that suffices the surrounding caverns. This magic has waned over the years. You can also see that um, it's not the flame that is magic, it's the brazier that is magic. But unfortunately, you can also see that the brazier cannot be moved. If you try to move it, it will break in a thousand pieces. But when you have a closer look, and with your arcane knowledge, Sephion, you can also see that however, over the years, the magic has been... Uh, what is the right word? Waned. Oh, yeah. It still can create any non-magical weapon or armor. It will become... Uh, and, and if you hold it for one minute in there, then it will become a plus one weapon and a plus one armor for a certain amount of hours that can vary. Okay. Okay, so I'm starting to starting to take my socks off and my shoes and my cape and my hat. I'm putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That was okay. A I think uh, let if you, if you have an item that you wanna put in, and I take off my armor and I put it in. One minute, One minute, I guess. Good. Yeah. Your armor, right? Yeah. And that is uh, magical ar uh, armor plus one for the next eight hours. Okay. I have a plan. Uh, Azrea. Yeah. Can you cast that fire thing on my halberd? Yeah, here. So it's. Um... I throw fire ball at you at him. And I'm <laughs> damning the halberd into the fire. Maybe it's gonna be a fire halberd now. Who knows? And I'm holding it for one minute. So you, uh, like the fire of Azurea is, is immediately obliterated by the green flame of the brazier. Nonetheless, for the next four hours, your weapon is plus one magic. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm also putting my studded leather armor in, in it. Of course. Might as well. Uh, for the next nine hours, that's a magic plus one studded lamo armor. Then I just try to put my newfound mace in there as well. Of course, do so. And that is for one hour. <laughs> A plus one magic mace. Eh. Wait, is wait, it hold hold uh, the old properties as well? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's it just like... gonna become a plus one magical thing when you hold it for one minute in this forge of spells. Yeah, but if it's already a plus one. Um, oh yeah, then it's then it's it should not be. Uh, then you. Uh, hold on. Yeah, no, it becomes a plus one. So if it's already a plus one, there's no use to put it in there. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, so um, sketch a bit the scene over here. You're all standing uh, around the brazier with a green flame, very excited, until you actually start to notice that this whole forge of spell situation. It's not really as magical and powerful as that you all would have hoped it to be. No, no, really, Balthazar uh, will be disappointed. Uh, we don't have the skills for it, but uh, hey, I'm looking at my chest with the golden dragon on. I like this. This is cool. Good. Anything that you all still want to discuss in the next two minutes before we end? The session of Wave Echo Cave Part 2. Uh, I have an object because I never got the complete answer. Did we not or did we not know about uh, Demon's 
thing for Balthazar. That is something that uh, we talked about. I have no idea if you said that yes no, or no. I have no, no. Yeah, I, something tells me I did. So I, I think he, like, like you mentioned it, Sefion, last time uh, towards uh, Draco. So I assume that you all know. But then indeed I asked, like, did he actually tell you? So yeah. I know that Balthazar introduced himself at one point to one of you. I think that's Draco. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not me. And then Dimas came clear, but I leave it up to Dimas if he actually told you all about the bra the the lantern and about Balthazar. And uh, mm -hmm. I think he told you all about Balthazar, but I'm not sure if he told you about what the plan was about the lantern. All right. Well, so Dimas, well, did you tell them about the lantern or didn't you? Or you want me to uh, cut the court and make a decision in this? Um, you know what my decision is going to be, right? That I didn't? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to make a huge difference anyway, because he's going to find out it's not working. It doesn't, but it's going to so, be fun role-playing. <laughs> uh, okay, then I, then I didn't. Alright, so they know about Balthazar, but they didn't. Uh, so they see you actually uh, take out your lantern, try to put in a flame pier, but it's not working, so you put it away. Then you all start putting your weapons and armor in there. And then you're just all looking a bit disappointed with a bit of a silence for a couple of minutes into the flame. And then what, Sepion? Well, Demons, that's a great idea. Let's figure out how we can take this so we can... Uh, yeah. yeah, but it doesn't it. work, apparently. It, it's... Yeah. You can't bring it along. With your Arcana check, Sepion, you notice that it's not the flame that is magical, it's the brazier that is magical. Also, yeah. the brazier cannot be taken away from here. And why can it not be taken away? It's like carved into top. So it's not like Indeed. a brick that we can use to... You cannot lift it up or so. It's like one with the floor. It's all made of stone. Uh. All right. Hmm. So, well, guys, I'm just gonna... I don't know what's up with this, but I'm just gonna sit here nicely in the corner, putting out my bedroll, and I'm gonna think thoroughly like what 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 to do with this flame okay yeah, that's I'm a good gonna... idea i'm actually yeah. really tired as well so but before i do i'm gonna close this door i'm closing this door uh there is a way that you can put some workbenches in front of the doors and stuff so you can all yeah. uh Let's do a, that. a long rest i would not suggest yeah. but i'll leave it all up to you i have to do what do you want to do? Uh, before I go to sleep, I want to uh, cast my uh, um, uh, General Divinity to harness my Divine Power and restore a one level two spell slot. Right. And then you all are going to take a nice uh, rest of long about rest? an hour, I think. You, uh, you want a long rest? Long you want to lay? You want to be here for eight hours? Nah, uh, short is fine, right? I'm f I'm down with f short. I don't need a long rest. I don't know how much fighting we're gonna do later, but I'm actually already pretty tired from the fighting, and I don't know how much good I can fight if we are still like if we still have a lot of fighting to do. But well, I guess eight hours in a in a place like this is also not exactly the thing to do. No. Remember those flying sucky things when we stayed long in one spot. So we, we're sleepy now and then every hour more and more come and we open the door and there's like a, a gazillion sucky, sucky flies. Good point, yep. Yeah. Well, I just want to think about this for like, yeah. Well, let, let's have this rest at least. At least a short rest, yeah. Yeah. I can give you a, I think I have a, I'm looking in my bag. I think I have a potion of healing somewhere I can give you. Yeah, well, the healing is not a problem. Oh. The, the rest yeah. gets enough healing for me. More my power to do. Oh, your spells, you wasted all the spells, yeah. Well, I would say waste, but... <laughs> but it's fine, okay. And with that, that was the end of session 
what else does the Wave Echo Cave have in store for the group of adventurers? What menacing creatures are lurking around the corner? And will they be able to escape the Wave Echo Cave? Stay tuned for the next chapter. Bye-bye.